Most of country in the world has a slum area, and everyone knows they're struggling with extreme poverty. But how extremely? How exactly? So I visited some normal families who is living in this slum in Kenya. Meet Kate. She's 18 years old. She's living this house with two her sons and two sisters. Their parents left them here. She works as a house cleaner. She's getting three dollars per day, but she doesn't have work every day, just two times a week. So she's getting around twenty-four dollars per month, but she pays fifteen dollars for rent. If there's no work for her, they don't spend money for food. There's no other option for her. Meet Ayub. He's living alone in a slum. When he was young, he had a polio. Because of that, he's living with one arm. He was street seller in a city. He was getting two dollars a day, but the government stopped him because of COVID. He lost the job, and he has a problem of stomach ulcer. But he couldn't go to hospital or pharmacy because it's too expensive for him. The price of medicine is forty dollars. When he said that, I thought he has recently suffered, but he was not. He's suffering for five years. Because of that, he has to eat only rice and some vegetables, and most of the day he has a pain of stomach, so he drinks warm water with salt. He said that is painkiller. Meet Samuel. He has five kids: thirteen, eleven, eight, six, four years old. He was security guard, but after COVID hit Kenya, he lost a job. A wife is living with other men. Because of financial problem, she left her family. I told him like she just left her family, but he said I understand her. I let her go because I don't have money for her. Sometimes his friends gave him a part-time job so he can get three dollars per day, but also not every day. Most of the week he doesn't work. So this is how they live in a slum. Don't forget, they're not special cases for a video. They are normal family, living without any income. That is hard, especially in a slum, because the government can't help them. And when they go on the streets for begging money, they can't even get fifty cents a whole day. I'm thinking always this: Why don't we help them with a little bit of our money? Let's do it together.